Welcome to Sparks! Merry Christmas, Sparkies! I'm Miss Chris, and this lesson is a story about thankfulness. Well, it's actually a story about someone who is not very thankful at all. This is a made-up story, but it might sound familiar to some of you. Are you ready to listen? Okay, let's go. More than anything, Connor liked to visit his Uncle Ben and his Aunt Emma. Now, you might think he liked visiting them because they were great people, which they were, but mostly he liked visiting them because they were really, really rich. They lived in a big house, they had a big yard, and they had a huge game room with lots of games like air hockey. They even had an arcade game with a really loud clattering bang bells and whistles. <laughs> A week before Thanksgiving, Connor's parents dropped him off at his aunt and uncle's house while they went to a concert in the city. Connor played the arcade game with his uncle and they had fun. Then they went up to the kitchen to have a snack. Aunt Emma's super delicious lemon cake with mile high frosting. Well, not actually a mile high, but it was really good. <laughs> oh, you, you have the Tyler Toys and Trivia Catalog, Connor said as he sat down. Can I look at it? I want to show you what I want for Christmas. Aunt Emma picked up the catalog, handed it to Connor, but she shook her head as she did so. I don't know why we get so many catalogs. It's so ridiculous to waste all that paper. Connor wasn't listening. He was looking for page 28. They had the same catalog at his house, so he knew the right page. This is what I want, Connor said, pointing to the Splash Century water park. Whoa, Uncle Ben looked at the picture. That cost $149. And for what? 200 pieces of plastic? I really, 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 really want it, Connor told him. He was sure his parents were not going to buy it for him. So Aunt, uh, Aunt Emma and Uncle Ben were his last and only hope. I remember the space set that you really, really, really wanted last Christmas, Uncle Ben said. By the end of the day, there were pieces everywhere. Including the one in the dog's stomach, Aunt Emma said. This is different, Connor said. I really, really, really want this. During the next couple of weeks, Connor told all his friends that his aunt and uncle, who were very, very, very rich, were going to get him the Splash Century Water Park. All his friends were impressed and jealous because that's what they wanted too. Christmas morning, Connor and his two older brothers hurried to the living room. Connor opened a scooter from his parents and a DVD from his older brothers and a shirt from his grandma. He got some other things too, but mostly he kept thinking about the Splash Century water park that he was sure Uncle Ben and Aunt Emma would bring when they came for Christmas dinner. But when they arrived, they didn't have any presents at all, at least not any that Connor could see. As you know, Uncle Ben said as he looked around the family, this past year, Emma and I had the opportunity to visit India on a mission trip with our church. We spent much of our time at an orphan orphanage. They are desperate for more room and better facilities. So this year, we thought we would donate money to get them started on building a new wing. We also will be supporting a young couple at our church whose prayer is to work at the orphanage and share the gospel with the children. He looked at Connor's presence. We told, or he looked at Connor's parents. We told your dad and mom about the idea and they encouraged and even contributed some additional money. That's right, Connor's dad said. We wanted to do all we could. Hmm. Connor couldn't believe that he wasn't getting a splash century water park. He was sure the kids in India needed food and all, but, but still. 
Later after dinner, the adults were all talking together and Connor's brothers were outside on their new scooters. But Connor was angry. Now he'd never get the water park, ever. And besides that, he couldn't even watch his new DVD because the adults had some kind of Christmas special on in the background. Connor sat on the steps and pouted. Hmm. Hey, Connor, Uncle Ben sat down beside him. We do have something we'd like to give you for Christmas this year. Immediately, Connor smiled. He got all excited. They had bought the water park after all. But Uncle Ben took a small package out of his pocket and handed it to Connor. Instead of buying you something that would fall apart in a few hours, we wanted to do something extra special this year. <laughs> this is a pocket watch. It belonged to my father. I've kept the watch in a safe place, waiting for the right time to give it to you. Connor couldn't believe it. Why did he want an old pocket watch? He turned his head away. You don't want this? Uncle Ben asked. Not really, Connor said. Okay, Uncle Ben put the watch back in his pocket and he walked away. Connor went to his room. After dinner, the family played some board games together and it was late when Uncle Ben and Aunt Ma Emma got ready to leave. Before he put his coat on, Uncle Ben took two more small packages out of his pocket and gave one to each of Connor's brothers. Cool, Chris said. You're giving me your compass? And you're giving me your pocket knife? Kevin gasped in surprise. I can't believe it. You need to be very careful of those, their dad said. They're valuable antiques. Uncle Ben laughed. Someday you can sell them and get college money. Hmm. Yeah, you told me your pocket watch was worth $5,000 last time I was at your house, Kevin said. Suddenly, Connor sat up. $5,000? Uh, uh, may maybe I do want the watch, Connor said. No, not today, Uncle Ben said. You said you weren't interested. We'll think it about it. We'll think about it again in the future. Everyone said goodbye and left. I can't believe you didn't take Uncle Ben's gift, Connor. Kevin shook his head. Besides being foolish, that was rude. Kevin is right, Connor's dad said. You always accept a gift a gift with thankfulness. You know that. That's what Christmas is all about, added his mother. A time to be thankful in a special way for all that God has done for us. Connor knew his family was right. He had been thinking about himself ever since he made out his Christmas list. He didn't care about other children. He didn't care about the children in India learning about God. He didn't even care about Uncle Ben's feelings. He just wanted what he wanted. And because of his selfishness, he had lost a very special gift. And that was that. Huh. Wow. What do you think about that story, Sparkies? Uh, can, you, can you think about this? And, and let me ask you one or two questions. Why didn't Uncle Ben and Aunt Emma want to buy Connor a Splash Century Water Park? Why do you think? Hmm. Well, they remembered last year he didn't take very good care of the gift that they had gotten him then. And remember, they went on a trip, a missions trip to India, and they wanted to give more money to the missions to help the children in India. Hmm. I have a question for you. How can we show thankfulness at Christmas time and all throughout the year? Have you ever thought about that? Are you thankful? Are you grateful for what people give to you? You know, the greatest gift that was ever given was Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. That was the biggest gift. And God is offering it to all of us. Have you received that free gift, the free gift of God? You don't have to do any special thing. You don't have to do good works. You don't have to be good to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you just have to ask. You just have to ask God to, to 
forgive you for your sins and to come into your life and trust Jesus and put your hope, put your faith in him. Have you done that yet? If you haven't, talk to one of your leaders so you find out more about what this means so you can be thankful for the ultimate gift that we've been given. Let's pray together. Dear God, at Christmas time and all the time, help us to be thankful for what you've done for us. We give thanks for Jesus coming to earth, living his life as human and as God. Thank you for all that he's done for us. Help us to be thankful, not only now, but all year long. We give you the thanks and the praise forever. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Sparkies, that wraps up this lesson. I want you to know that Jesus loves you and so do I. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.